Hey, this is Drew Baird from Moon Audio and welcome to the last day of Axmona 2023. We've saved the best for the last day. We're here in the Focal name room and we're here with our dear friend Tom Graham that we're going to talk about first. The Unity line from Name, which has been a very popular piece for us, especially the headphone amp. But first, we're going to talk about the Unity Star, and I want to I want to ask you, Tom. You know, where did the thought process come into the to these pieces in the Unity system from Name? What what was the main driving force behind them? Sure. So I think that uh, Name, you know, a 50 year old kind of old school British hi-fi company, famous for their kind of individual components, where you have a preamp, a power amp, a source multiple power supplies for all of those, they put them all in one piece, right? So this happened in 2009, the initial uh, release of the Unity line. And what we're looking at here is the kind of re-release that happened in 2017. So these were sort of uplifted. And uh, this piece in the name universe, and kind of, you know, the, the old school approach would be eight boxes. Mm -hmm. It'd be a CD player, it'd be a streamer, a preamp and a power amp, each with their own external power supplies. Right and uh, Name realized that not everyone can accommodate that or wants to accommodate that, so they put it in one box, and we have a 70 watt per channel uh, integrated amp with a streamer and CD player in one box. Yep. And, uh, you know, they, uh, they pulled it off. There was uh, a lot of investment to be able to build these and kind of produce enough of them at scale, because this is extremely popular. We're selling, you know, order of tens of thousands of these. Yep. And it's a relatively small company, but uh, they made huge investments in the materials and equipment to build these. And um, yeah, they've been very popular. I have one of these in my uh, living room. Yep. And in terms of the different streaming services that they use, I know, you know, I know for a fact that they've got lots of different options on here mm -hmm. and they do a bunch of internet radio. Can you expand on what different services they're doing now and any new services coming in the future they may add? Sure. So uh, there's native support inside of the app for Tidal mm -hmm. and Cobuzz. Yep. So the two kind of high-end lossless services are baked into our app. Uh, Spotify doesn't allow people to do that, so you do have to use Spotify Connect, uh, but you could still do Spotify with this. Mm -hmm. And anything sort of agnostic outside of that, you can do with just AirPlay or Chromecast. Mm -hmm. um, Rune Ready, so it, it dovetails beautifully into a Rune system. Um, no, like, kind of off the beaten path, new things expected anytime soon, but between what we just covered, it covers most of the bases. Right. Yeah. And, and, and these also communicate with any other of the Unity devices throughout your house to exchange information, including mm -hmm. the, uh, the speakers, the headphone amp, the, you know, and so forth, right? So it becomes one, one uh, uh, unity of, unity <laughs> of equipment, right? Exactly. They're unifying and all working together. Um, there's also an external core that you can get to also load up if you, you know, if you get the headphone edition or the speaker edition of the Unity Atom, there's a core that you can also add that can do the ripping and storage somewhere else in the house. Mm -hmm. So you can have little bits and pieces, either an all-in-one or a core somewhere where your network is, an Atom over here for headphone listening, an Atom uh, speaker edition, uh, maybe for the back deck to power some speakers on your back deck. So really cool stuff. Yeah. All right, so we're, we're going to take a second, move over to look at the Unity Atoms, uh, the headphone and the speaker edition. Check us out in a second. So now we're here over with the Unity Atom headphone edition. We've got a huge collection of Focal headphones. You know, we're not going to go over every single headphone here. We've got a playlist on YouTube where we review every single headphone here, the Batiste, the Stelia, the Utopia 2022s, the Clear MGs, the Celestes, everything. So check out those uh, reviews and videos on our YouTube channel. But today we're just going to focus on one of the most popular headphone all-in-one pieces that Moon Audio sells. It's been extremely popular the Unity Atom Headphone Edition. So what can you tell us about this? Sure, so Unity Atom Headphone Edition, that HE designation uh, kind of indicates that it's a little bit different from the standard Unity. So the Unity Atom is a 40 watt per channel integrated amp uh, on this kind of half chassis design, and it has all the functionality as uh, some of the other Unity pieces, a built-in streamer, uh, the ability to connect with other pieces around the house using the name app, but what they did with the headphone edition is they pulled out the 40 watt per channel integrated amp and in favor of that, they put in an elevated kind of higher performing uh, headphone amplifier, right? Yep. So we have a better headphone amp as well as some different uh, connectivity. So we have a quarter inch jack in the front. This is a Pentacon 4.4 millimeter, which is one of my favorite connectors on the planet, balanced. Yeah. 
the way to go for sure on this piece. Yep, and then there's a four pin balance connection on the rear in addition to balanced outputs. So a lot of people use this obviously for headphones, mm -hmm. you know, hence the name, but it also functions really as a great streaming preamp. Mm -hmm. So you can hook it up to either an, a power amp or powered speakers, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of a great kind of heart of a system that you could build around, whether it's just headphones or just a, a system kind of at large. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you can plug in a USB dongle key on the front to play some files. Again, you can connect to that Unity core that's housed somewhere else in your house, or you could put it next to it, or you can connect to the star and pull music from it. So, you know, the ecosystem continues. Um, this is, without a doubt, probably one of the best value all-in-one streamers that we sell. I mean, it does everything. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, big fan of it. Um, trying to think what else unique about it. Um, love the volume control on the top if you haven't got to play with this, it's very cool, it's very weighted, yeah. uh, has an amazing feel to it. I mean, again, value is just ridiculous for the quality of goods you get here. Yeah. So now we're gonna step over to the, look at the uh, speaker edition of this, so hang tight for a second. Welcome back, we're here between the two stones. The OD Stone 8s, these are two cool, new uh, speakers that are meant for outdoors. There's a subwoofer that's off to the, the foreground that you can't see right now, and we're here with the Unity uh, Speaker Edition that's powering these. So tell us about the Speaker Edition and a little bit about these new unique uh, outdoor speakers. Sure, yeah, so this is the uh, kind of standard Atom, right? We looked at the Headphone Edition a second ago. This is the edition that came out initially. So mm -hmm. these were released in 2017. And this is probably the, in terms of five star reviews, product of the year reviews, this is probably the most celebrated piece within the Unity line mm -hmm. because it's cool. <laughs> you know, it's, right. it's small, half chassis. People are blown away that 40 watts per channel can power, you know, four standing speakers. And we've powered cases. the Canta 2s with these actually. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. If, if, you're, if you don't have a, a speaker in a, in a huge space or something that's really power hungry, this is probably gonna do you know, a fine job. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it has all of the uh, streaming built in you know, that, that we're used to with all the other Unity pieces. Uh, it's, it's really, yeah, it's a kind of Swiss Army knife in a small form factor, but overperforms for what it is. And what sort of inputs can you plug, what can you plug into it as well? So it's got a number of digital inputs. Mm -hmm. And what's kind of cool is it has an analog RCA input. Mm -hmm. And what that does, it goes through an analog digital converter. So whatever it is you plug in there, analog, it goes through an AD converter, a Burr Brown high quality AD converter, which means that whatever you plug into one of these, you can pipe around and yep. share all around the house. Yep. And you know, let's say you have a, you know, if you were doing a really high-end turntable, you wouldn't want to go through an AD converter. Right. But if you had a relatively modest one and you're throwing a sure. party and yep. you want to spin a record yep. and play it in eight zones around the house, you could just plug it into one of these, mm -hmm. choose the analog input, and connect it to all the other pieces yeah. in the environment. Very cool, very cool. So tell us about the cool new stones that we're what? sitting between. Well, so I've actually I got a pair of these. Uh, they're in the mail for my porch. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm buying a pair of them myself. But uh, yeah, these are for outdoor use. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an eight inch coaxial driver that they developed just for this piece. Mm -hmm. uh, but this can, you know, it can sit out in the heat. It can get frozen and, you know, it's, it's basically waterproof effectively. So it's designed to be uh, outdoor, so think poolside, this yep. is a great option. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so we have it hooked up to this. It can go either 8 ohm or 70 volt. You can kind of daisy chain them together. They have transformers built in. Yep. If you look underneath, there's a couple of different wiring options, but it's straightforward and easy to use and they sound great. Yeah. And note, they are wired, so you do need to wire them to one of the Unity, Am Unity Atom uh, speaker editions or some other piece. They're not wireless. Right. Um, and then the subwoofer, Tell us about that a little bit. We can't see it right now, but it looks similar. It's just gray and a little flatter. Yeah, it so like it's, uh, it's you know, you've seen the designs where you basically bury the sub. Yep. So this is the, it's part of what we call the Latora mm -hmm. series. So the Latora is the outdoor series. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's the companion subwoofer. You, you can kind of, you know, bury it out of sight. It's got this low profile. Uh, piece is ported on the top, mm -hmm. and that's what you use to flesh these out. Yep. You know, obviously when you're outdoors, it's kind of hard to recreate bass, but this yep. thing has got the muscle to sort of, uh, you know, add that low end that you're looking for. Cool. Thank you so much for walking us through the Unity line. Cheers. Stay tuned. Next, we're going to talk about all the speakers, and I am a speaker guy. This is my favorite part. You may think of me as just a headphone guy, but at the end of the day, I love speakers. So. Next, next couple of minutes, we're gonna be back and we're gonna look at a couple, uh, a couple of new speakers and a couple of new finishes. Stay tuned. 
Hey, welcome back. Now we're in the demo surround sound home theater room with the new Tiva line of speakers. This is what's replacing the Cora line uh, that was very popular. They had some really innovative new slate drivers and Dolby Atmos top firing drivers that we're going to talk about. I'm here with Chris Shaw. He's their expert on this speaker line. What can you tell us about this? Awesome. Well, thank you. And like I said, we're very excited to introduce the new Tiva line. We launched, uh, launched this on the 12th, so just a few days ago, yep. and there's been a lot of buzz around this product. With it, we've got some new finishes, some new models. With it, we start with our bookshelf model, the new Tiva number one. From there, we've got the Tiva number two. This is a new footprint that we have. It's all five and a quarter inch drivers, smaller footprint, but still wonderful output and focal sound, obviously. And then here in the room at uh, at Exponent, we are showing a full Dolby Atmos room using Tiva. And so with this, this is using the Tiva number three, the Tiva number 3D, and of course, the Tiva center channel with our sub 600 Ps. So tell us about the material that they're using in these drivers, the slate material. What made them choose that as a, uh, a, a use for a driver? Well, obviously we're extremely well known for our driver technologies. And so with this is that, you know, we've got over four years of development. And what's really great about this is that we're the only company that, that has a uh, you know proprietary cone technology for our, our quote unquote entry level drivers. And so, you know, we, we follow our MRD ratios, our mass rigidity damping, and we do that all the way from, you know, Tiva all the way up to our $280,000 Grande Utopia EMs. Yeah. And then how does the how does the uh, up firing Dolby driver work in the in the uh, D series? Well, with this, of course, we're not you know this this is not a new technology. We've been doing All this right. for a very long time. But we did take one of our technology, develop a technology called the augmented speaker directivity, um, and this is basically a waveguide of sort that we've added to it. And of course, this is patented to us. Mm -hmm. And what this does is it will take this energy from this top firing driver and laser beam it to the ceiling, allowing us to only have it disperse once it. Hits hits the ceiling and so it becomes extremely effective even at three feet from the speaker we still have that Dolby Atmos effect. So it gives a pretty good omnidirectional or is it more directionality? No I mean, it's very it's it's very directional until we hit the ceiling and, and then, then it, it becomes, spreads out then becomes right. omnidirectional. So how, how important is placement in terms of that in the room? Uh, there is some considerations for placement obviously I mean we want to make sure you know just like any speaker we placement is, is key with this but with that flexibility usually comes into the processor for us to dial that in. And so now I see we've got a new subwoofer down here. Tell us a little bit about that big boy. So this is a sub 600p of course obviously by Focal and mm -hmm. so this is a 12 inch uh, polyglass subwoofer in a vented enclosure. We have this paired with a 600 watt class D amplifier. Nice. Uh, with this is that you know we have this product developed and engineered to be paired or coherently aligned with mm -hmm. the new Tiva as well as also the Vestia line. Yep. What's the, uh, what frequency that rate does it get down to? Oh my gosh, you're going to make me go to my, <laughs> to my white papers well, this important. early in the morning. That's important so. for subwoofers. I mean, everybody wants to know how low will it go, right? You know, right, so. rough guess. <laughs> uh, I believe it's around, man, you're going to make me quote something I uh, won't be true, so. Okay. But we'll, we'll figure, oh, we'll get it for we'll you. We'll put the numbers yeah. on the screen for you guys. Yeah. And then here we've got the new center channel. Tell us about this. So of course, uh, this is part of the Tiva line um, with it, obviously two six and a half inch drivers. Uh, one of the biggest upgrades that we've seen with the Tiva line is the new tweeters that mm -hmm. we brought the TNF tweeter from the Aria series and now brought it into the Tiva line. And of course that's in all models. So with it is that we have the center channel and also the optional stand. What's the material they're using on the dome? So it is still aluminum magnesium. Okay. So it's got, you know, I find that that's got a little warmer tonality to it. So that, and that's really good for home theater because recordings for uh, movies tend to be a bit hot and you, so you want to smooth things out a little bit. So yeah, that sounds really good. I can't wait to get this into the showroom and listen to it. So we're going to step outside and we're going to look, look at a brand new line from uh, Focal next. Wait until we get around the corner. Okay, so we're back and we're here with the new Vestia line of speakers and these are very sexy looking. They've got a leatherette wrap and wood sides. Um, tell us a little bit about these. These are really nice. So this is our second newest line, obviously, as of right now. We launched this in January. And so this was uh, uh, something that's been very exciting with a new technology, obviously. We recognize the slate fiber cone, but with mm -hmm. this is that we've introduced a new tweeter into this line called the TAM tweeter. Mm -hmm. So this is a new M profile tweeter. This is a tweeter that we actually developed in the car side of, uh, of our world. And from there it's, and again, proprietary to you yep. guys, this is the profile that we actually use for all our high-end headphones. Yep. And so now we're bringing it into the floor sounding product. Yeah. 
And what would you what would you say about the sound characteristic uh, of this versus the last line we just took a look at? Oh, it's uh, it's so hard to describe, on, you know, on camera without listening to it. I mean, we obviously have the Focal signature to right. sound through all of our products, but this just becomes a little bit more open to it, a little bit more dynamic. Uh, you know, with the dual vented enclosures, uh, we get a lot more low end frequency, a lot more development, uh, and a really hard hitting uh, cabinet. Yeah. And how many models are there? So with this is that we have uh, five different models, and so with this is what we start with our Vestia number one, from there we move to Vestia number two, Vestia number three, Vestia number four, which we uh, unfortunately are show aren't showing here at the show, and then of course Vestia center. Is there going to be a subwoofer? Uh, again, we use the sub 600P okay. to, to match with this line. All right, cool. And where does this fall in terms of uh, the lineup of all the speaker lines? So with it is that it's our second step up. Second so step we up. start with Tiva, from there to Vestia, from there we move to Aria, Kansas, Soper, and Utopia. Got you. So let's take a walk over here and look at these other models. So, so tell us about these now. So this is the, uh, the continuation of mm -hmm. the Tiva line. As we mentioned, uh, we start with the Tiva number one, our bookshelf models, and we do have optional stands for those. And this is again, very special. This is our Tiva number two. We've never had this, this platform, or we haven't had this platform for a very long time. So three five and a quarter inch drivers, smaller output, or sorry, smaller footprint, but still same equal. Uh, focal sound and output. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of multiple drivers and smaller drivers. The more drivers you have and a smaller size, the faster and more dynamic a speaker can be. So I sometimes, you know, in, in a lot of the Focal lines, I usually prefer the middle model because it's a lot faster. We, while you may lose some of the bottom end weight to the, by going with that speaker, adding a sub like we looked at in the other room will compensate for that, but you're gonna get incredible mid-range, fast detail and attack. So these, I'm really excited to listen to these. Oh, they're exciting. So now let's step over here to the Cantas and, you know, these, these aren't anything new to Focal, but the finishes are very new to Focal. Right, well, I mean, Kanta's been extremely popular. It's probably yeah. one of our most popular models that we've had, and with that is, is that we just launched the five, or six new finishes. Um, with this is that we've basically have gone to a new matte front face with a gloss right. cabinet uh, theme. Yeah. So with this is that, you know, we have uh, black, uh, you know, the black, the gray, the taupe, and the ivories for the front okay. faces. And then with that is that we do a combination mix of either the high gloss black, the high gloss walnut, or the high gloss white finished cabinets. Yeah. And we've had a pair of Canted 2s since they came out. They're a staple in our showroom. Uh, they're a, a great, um, uh, you know, different tonality than the Sopra 2s that we also have in our demo room. So if you're looking for something a little bit more on the warmer side, this is the speaker line that I would recommend looking at. Uh, again, the Canta 2 is my favorite in the lineup over the 3s. You know, the 3s are going to give you a little more bottom end weight, but I like the speed of the 2s. And then on top of these, you'll notice that we've got some of the ISO acoustic products. So uh, I can't remember what year it was that Focal did a demonstration where they had two pairs of Sopra 2s. They had one with ISO acoustics and one without, and they could quickly AB. And I was absolutely blown away um, with what the ISO acoustics can do. They bring everything into focus. I'm not a big, you know, little knick-knack, add-on weird devices to try and change the sound. And, I, you know, do I believe in resonance causing issues? Yes. Have I ever been really taken aback the way I have been with these? Never. I mean, these are amazing. Tell me a little about, bit about the technology and why they make such a big difference. So, you know, and, and, uh, and I agree with you. I mean, I was on that same kind of platform of, you know, knickknacks and all the kind of, uh, you know, unicorn magic that's yeah, out yeah. there. Um, but this, this blew me away. I mean, the idea with this is that we ultimately will not only, uh, you know, uh, isolate or basically we just decouple the mm -hmm. speaker away from the room. And, and with it is that we get a much deeper sound stage. The bass is more, you know, is much more clear, uh, more pronounced and, and defined. And, and it's just absolutely uh, uh, crazy. And again, of course, here at Exponent, we have that AB demo that you were just talking about, so, yeah, yeah. which is amazing. And, uh, you know, ultimately this technology came from, from the Broadcasting Corporation. The founder of uh, ISO Acoustics worked for the Canadian Broadcast Company. And he built this technology to isolate a room away from the rest of the building. And so that technology is basically being placed into these, uh, into these little uh, you know, yeah. miracle pieces. Yeah, they're fantastic. And so they make very different uh, different types. One, some of the screws that go into, screw into the bottom of your speakers, ones that work with speakers on top of stands. And here's something to note. Let's say you've got monitors 
and you've got stands for those monitors, you want to put these, the, the ones that don't screw in between the, the uh, monitor and the stand versus getting the ones on the floor. Obviously, I did recommend to a customer yesterday, if you've got kids and they're around your speakers and whatnot, it might be a better idea to do the screw one, screw one down in the stands. It's still gonna help, but you wanna try and get the decouple as close as possible to the, the product that you're trying to uh, get rid of resonant frequencies. And they're all based on weight. We've got a calculator on our website, so you can put in your model of speaker um, and you can check which ones will fit. And we've got all the different stud sizes, no matter what speaker you have, there's a stud available to screw these into. Um, a, a fantastic tweak, one of the best tweaks I've ever used. So, so we're gonna we're gonna move outside just to take a quick peek at the new finishes for the Sopra 2. Uh, those are my favorite speakers in the whole lineup. So, follow us outside. So we are here at the last stop on the Focal Room Tour. These are the Sopra 2s, and these are the new concrete finishes. They're called. Correct. Yeah. So this is uh, again a new finish that we just launched in December, and the and the whole idea of this is that we really wanted. You know, our speakers not to be speakers anymore. We want them to be part of the decor, part of the art, you know, and, and, yeah. and, and be a focus point within the room. Yeah, and if you don't know this by now, the, folk, uh, the, the Sopra 2 is one of my all-time favorite speakers. I have owned so many speakers over the years, and this fits the bill in so many different areas in terms of acoustical reproduction. I am just a die-hard Sopra 2 guy. So I've already gotten the okay from the wife to get a pair of these for our house. Awesome. So I'm really excited. We've had a, uh, the red version in our demo room since they came out. Um, we use the ISO acoustics that we just talked about on these because after that demo, how could you not put them on? Uh, just a tremendous speaker. Uh, you know, I'll take this speaker over just about any speaker out there. Oh. Pound per pound, it's like a you know, it's like a, a middleweight champ, if you of will. Course. It's just a phenomenal speaker. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about the technology that's used in the drivers? We are using some of our top technologies. Obviously, we've had uh, you know, we're very well known for our beryllium tweeters. We've yep. been using them for you know over two decades now, yeah. and of course that is you know set in here with a you know. Um, a very different technology, say from our Utopia. So uh, proprietary technologies are for each individual collection. Uh, of course, we then pair that with our W Sandwich Cone, which is again our top technology. Yep. We've been using that for over two decades as well. And again, you know, if the mold's not, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix don't it. Don't fix it, yeah. Right? Yeah, and, and, and beryllium is not bright. I mean, the, the amazing thing about beryllium in my mind is that it does two things very well. Incredible detail, but at the same time being very musical. This is, that's why I like this speaker so much, because it's analytical, but it's also music and romantic sounding. Fabulous speaker. Thanks, Chris, so much for the tour around the, uh, around the shop. Uh, thanks for joining us. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, and if you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below and we'll get back to you soon. Take care.